Now I want to tell you one thing, a misconception I want to tell you. Maybe some of you have seen this word semi-trivial. Have you seen this word? Maybe you have seen this word on the YouTube or maybe in some other uh, known standard resources. In some coaching institute, maybe you have seen this. So let me tell you, this does not exist in the standard resources. This semi-trivial, no such concept exists in standard resources. So this is not a standard concept. Okay. So anyway, I'm just, see some students are saying that uh, they are reading DBMS for the first time. That is good. Okay. That is good. Whatever I'm teaching you, I'm telling you, I'm teaching you from the standard resources. For every concept, I'm giving you multiple, I can say a screenshot of a standard resources. Ulman, Nawate, Korth, Raghurama Krishna. Okay. All the standard resources we are covering. But I'm telling you that in some, in some coaching institutes, this type of concepts, this type of concepts are taught. Okay, this semi-trivial functional dependency, this is taught. But let me tell you, no such concept exists in any standard resource. There is no standard resource containing this type of concept. Okay, so very simple point. Okay, this semi-trivial functional dependency, this type of concept does not exist in the standard resources. Okay, so whatever we have seen, that that is from the standard resources. Trivial functional dependency, non-trivial functional dependency, everything that we have seen. Okay, is this clear? Let me know types of functional dependency. There are two types of functional dependency. One is trivial functional dependency. Another is non-trivial functional dependency. What is trivial functional dependency? Trivial functional dependency means X determines Y is a trivial functional dependency. This is trivial functional dependency. If and only if this X is a superset of Y, this X is a superset of Y. Is this clear? Okay. This X is superset of Y. For example, here you can notice this AB, this is a superset of A. For example, here you can notice this A, this is superset of A. So this is the definition of trivial functional dependency. Trivial functional dependency means X determines Y. This is trivial functional dependency. If and only if X is superset of Y. What is the definition of non-trivial functional dependency? The name itself is telling you non-trivial means which is not trivial. Yes or no? FD, which is not trivial. When can I say this is a non-trivial FD? I can say this is non-trivial FD if and only if X is not superset of Y. Yes or no? If and only if X is not a superset of Y. So remember, if it is not trivial, then it is non-trivial. Okay, tell me which of them is trivial, which of them is not trivial. Let me know. So you can see this is trivial, right? Yes or no? This is trivial. This is a trivial. This is also trivial. This is also trivial. Okay. You can see which is non-trivial. You can see this is non-trivial because this is not superset of BC. This is non-trivial because you can see this A, this A, this is not superset of AB. This is non-trivial. This is trivial. This is non-trivial. This is non-trivial. Is this clear? So which functional dependencies are non-trivial? The answer will be two, three, four, five, six. Yes or no? The answer will be two, three, four, five, six. Is this point clear? Please tell me. So very simple. Non-trivial functional dependency means a functional dependency which is not trivial. Okay. So this is the definition of trivial and non-trivial. So what is the definition of trivial? Alpha implies beta is trivial. If alpha is superset of beta, alpha is a superset of beta or I can say beta is a subset of alpha. Yes or no? So alpha implies beta that is trivial. If and only if beta is a subset of alpha or I can say LHS is a superset of RHS. Yes or no? LHS is superset of RHS. Remember, if you have this functional dependency, then this alpha, this alpha will be called LHS and this beta will be called RHS. Is this clear? Please tell me. Is this clear? Now tell me, if I give you this functional dependency, if I give you this functional dependency, now tell me who is LHS? Who is LHS? If I give you this functional dependency, who is LHS? Remember, this is same as B determining A. These are same. So remember, this B will be the LHS. Okay. So here, remember, this is the LHS. And remember, this A will be the RHS. Okay. So very simple point. So remember, whenever you have a functional dependency, alpha implies beta, then this alpha will be LHS and beta will be RHS. Okay. So very simple point. So we have seen what is a trivial functional dependency. Trivial functional dependency means this is a subset of this. I can say this RHS is subset of LHS. Yes or no? RHS is subset of LHS. This is called trivial functional dependency. 
otherwise if a functional dependency is not trivial then it is a non trivial yes or no so you can see so you can see this that if a functional dependency is not trivial okay otherwise it will be non trivial okay so either a functional dependency will be trivial or it will be non trivial very simple point now let me tell you one more concept that is given in olman book see this is not given in other books only in the olman book this is given that is something called completely non trivial okay this concept this concept is given in the olman book this concept is given in the Ullman book only. This definition, this is just a definition, nothing else. Okay. This is given in only in the Ullman book. This is not gi given in the Navate. This is not given in Korth. This is not given in, I can say, Raghurama Krishna. But this is only given in the Ullman. But this is also very simple. When can I say completely non trivial? Completely non trivial. That means LHS and RHS, they are disjoint. Completely non trivial. What that means? That means LHS and RHS, they are disjoint, means they have nothing common. They have nothing common. This will be called completely non-trivial. Okay, so this is just a definition, nothing else. So you can see trivial means what trivial means? Trivial means these B's, these are subset of A's. Non-trivial means non-trivial means that it is not trivial. Okay, non-trivial, that means it is not trivial. And what is completely non-trivial? That means LHS and RHS, they have nothing common. Is this clear? See, what is the definition of trivial? Please tell me. If, you, if I give you a functional dependency, X determining Y, when can I say it will be trivial? Let me know. When can I say it will be trivial? When can I say this is trivial? This will be trivial if this LHS is superset of RHS. Okay, very simple. When can I say this is non-trivial? When can I say this is non-trivial? When can I say this will be non-trivial? Non-trivial means X is a not superset of Y. Yes or no? Simply in simple words, in simple words, in simple words, not trivial. Okay. In simple words, I can say not trivial. And when can I say it is completely non-trivial? When can I say it is completely non-trivial? When can I say that it is completely non-trivial? When can I say that it is completely non-trivial? This we will say that when X intersection Y is empty when they have nothing common. They have nothing common. X comma Y are completely disjoint. Okay. That means X comma Y have nothing common. Have nothing common. Okay. So their intersection is phi. In this situation, we will call it completely non-trivial. So these are the three definitions. Okay. Quite easy. Quite easily you can see. Okay. So very simple. Now let's move on. Now let's see this question. Tell me the answer for this question. What is the answer for this question? Regarding trivial functional dependencies, which best describes completely non-trivial? The question is asking for the definition of completely non-trivial. So what is the definition of completely non-trivial? If a functional dependency X to Y holds where X intersection Y is phi. Yes, this is the definition of completely non-trivial. Yes or no? This is the definition of completely non-trivial. Tell me, tell me, this is the definition of what? This is statement. This is statement. If a functional dependency holds where Y is subset of X, this is your trivial functional dependency. This is your trivial functional dependency. What about this last one? What about this last one? Tell me. This last one. What about the last one? The last one is non-trivial. The last one is non-trivial. This is non-trivial functional dependencies. Okay. And this middle one, what is this middle one? This is your completely non-trivial. This is your completely non-trivial. So can I say this is non-trivial also? Can I say every completely non-trivial that is non-trivial? Every completely non-trivial is non-trivial also? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Right. Okay. So remember, this is non-trivial also. This implies non-trivial also. Okay. This implies non-trivial also. Okay. So very simple point. So this is the definition of trivial. This is the definition of non-trivial. And this is the definition of completely non-trivial. So this is the idea.